Hey there, garden friends. It is 5.30 in the morning on Friday. It is 29 degrees outside. My car is covered in ice. <laughs> the only reason I'm out here this early is that I am going to the uh, flower market to... Oh, I'm sorry for the loud noise, but I got my defrost on. Hopefully you can hear me. Um, I'm going to the flower market to get a few odds and ends that I need for tomorrow's wreath making workshop. So the only real time to do this because it's in the city in San Francisco is well before rush hour. Um, so plus I got to get back in time to take the kids to school at eight. So um, yeah, so I'm going to head out there. I probably won't film because it's, it's even though the, the market itself is indoors, all the doors are open. It's like big giant bays. And so it's going to be really cold and there'll be a lot of people. So I'm not going to film while I'm there, but I'll show you what I've got when we get home after I take the kids and all that kind of stuff. Um, so it'll be stuff that I've collected here, stuff that I've made and dried, and then uh, the stuff that I got at the flower mark. And um, that will be for tomorrow's wreath making workshop. All right, so I'll check back in as soon as I'm back from all my errands. <laughs> Okay, so it's two days later. <laughs> Yesterday uh, was a very busy day and I, I didn't even take the stuff out of the car until just now. It's raining today, so we're gonna do the workshop inside. So I'll show you how I've set up and um, what we have for this wreath making workshop. Okay, so here's the table with all the stuff. Um, this is Ilex berries, these are holly, and um, they are toxic to pets, so be very careful uh, if you use this. I am watching very closely any of the berries that drop, I'm picking up and throwing them away. Um, these are pine cones that have been flocked, this is not by me, and they are pre-wired, which makes it very easy to put them on a wreath. Here we have Douglas fir boughs. Um, then we have two stacks. This is a different kind of fir. Actually, it wasn't labeled, so I don't know what it is. This one I do know is noble fir. Um, and then we have a juniper here. So this is the greenery. And then where we're doing the actual building instead of outside is here on my island. I can fit eight people comfortably here as well as myself in the center. So everybody gets a wreath form and then they're gonna have paddle wire and snips to work with. I have two types of ribbon here, this really pretty plaid and then a um, just a linen white and they're both wired ribbon. And then I have um, jars of um, freeze, uh, not freeze dried, of dried oranges that these can also go on the wreaths. And I still need to go get all of the uh, dried flowers out of the garage in the boxes. And then snacks and goodies. And of course, Raven going crazy because she's enjoying having the chairs in a weird place. <laughs> what are you doing, silly? Yes. What are you doing? Crazy girl. You need a toy. You need a toy. Hang, hang on. Okay, here you go. Oh, got too crazy with it. Okay, here we go. going to town. So I've also gathered some dried flowers, but because I have so many pastels, I didn't think really, you don't really want pastels in a necessarily in your <laughs> wreath, holiday wreath. So I grabbed what I did have that could work. These are all celosia in like a maroon color. I have some baby's breath, some decorative grass, uh, white status, and then just a little bit of a red straw flower. And then down here, got two buckets because folks will be able to put all their droppings and stuff in there, things that they clip off that they're not using. And of course there's gonna get stuff on the floor, but no biggie, I can sweep that later. So I think that we are pretty much all set. I need to set up the food and then I'm going to eat some lunch. I'm hungry.
snacks are set up, I want to say to you, you don't have to make everything from scratch. <laughs> I did not make any of these cookies. Would I have wanted to? Yes. Did I run out of time? Yes. Is it a crime that I'm giving them store-bought cookies? Absolutely not. <laughs> I think these guys are so cute. So these are just little sugar cookies. These are some ginger snaps. These are Scottish shortbread. Those are actually homemade, not by me, but by a family friend. Um, these are gluten-free Mexican wedding cookies. And then we have some biscotti as well as more um, sugar cookies. So everybody gets a plate, everybody gets some snacks while we have this two hour wreath making workshop. We've got some blood orange and tangy lemon Italian soda. And I'm also going to get the kettle going for tea because I have a whole variety of teas. We've got this um, winter spice one, which is yummy. We've got um, a harvest blend one. And then I've got, you know, ginger and a whole bunch of other teas as well, mostly black teas, but also I have this dandelion and uh, leaf and root tea. I love dandelion tea. And then I also have Tulsi tea here. There's a focus one and I thought I had another one. Another Tulsi. Yes, here it is. Sweet Rose. Um, so uh, Tulsi is holy basil if you've never had it. Um, Anyway, so they will have lots of options. I just shot a bunch of video without the sound on. Anyway, so we're trying this again. <laughs> that was really fun. It was a great workshop. Everybody seemed to really enjoy themselves and everybody made some really beautiful wreaths. I made one uh, that I think is gonna go on the greenhouse because I need some color out there. It's a little drab right now. Um, and there's plenty of greenery left over, which is great because I'm going to build um, some arrangements in the two urns out front. So I have lots of leftover greenery. That's gonna look great. Um, probably won't be getting to that until next week because I think it's gonna continue raining. It's been raining all day since early this morning. Uh, we've got almost a half inch so far. Uh, it's supposed to keep raining until uh, Monday. So today's Saturday. So fingers crossed, we get another inch of rain. This is a great kind of rain because it is that kind of steady, not super heavy, but really soaking into the ground kind of rain. And that's what we really, really need. Also, it would be great to fill our, some of our reservoirs. Um, so that's what I'll get to next. I'll do a video about that. Um, also coming up, we're gonna talk about uh, my successes and fails. Uh, I think there's another seed haul video in addition to um, planning video. Um, and I'll show you guys the software that I use to um, track what I'm growing, um, what I need to grow and all that kind of stuff. So looking forward to sharing all that with you guys. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do click that subscribe button. And I hope you have a wonderful time in your garden. I will see you in the next video. Bye.